Hey guys, so I got a request to do a video on the hamster storage. So all the hamster supplies are stored within these drawers just here. So the first drawer is food related and the rest of them are either toys or other little bits and bobs. So yeah, let's get started. So the top drawer is just where I store all the hamster treats and we have quite a large selection of treats at the moment so I've told myself I'm not allowed to buy any more treats but I know I'll end up buying more anyway. So we just have things like healthy treats um, such as the salad snacks and dandelion salad and things like that and then we have more sort of sugary treats so we have things like the popcorn and we've got some monkey nuts and some dreamies and just loads of different treats and we have three more containers under there which are also full of treats um, so yeah if you've seen the latest treat video you've probably already seen most of these anyway so in the second drawer is mainly where I store most of the cleaning supplies and some of the toys because they don't fit in any of the other drawers so we did have things like plant pots because the dwarfs really like to hide in them we have a cleaning cloth for the cages some insect spray in case any of the hamsters get mice or fleas then I can thoroughly clean their cages out with that um, we have a scoop for the bedding and sand when I clean them out some disinfectant we have some Wilkinson's bedding just there and Humbug spare tunnel and then we have some What's this called? Carefresh hide and seek I think it's called and there's also some twisty nest in there so I don't use this because the hamsters just completely ignore it so that just gets left in there really. Um, we have some bin liners all the way back there. Um, so yeah that's pretty much what's in the second drawer. So in the third drawer there is a mix of different things, um, so we just have some spare mesh from when I made a bin cage, um, more mesh, I have no idea why these are in here, they're those magnetic things that you throw up in the air and they make that really weird noise, um, spare water bottle, a spare container in case I need to store any treats in there, um, food balls just down there, a spare piece of ribbon in case I need to tie one of the hammocks up, say if one of the hamsters break it and I can't find anything else to tie it up with, a torch because you're never going to know when there's going to be a power cut, um, some spare sand baths back there, we have some spoons for baby food and more spoons and some syringes and things like that in there puzzle playground and wood chews in the bottom then we have some jingle balls more wood chews and even more wood chews and some play veg um, and then we just have the top for Coco's house which she doesn't like so that just gets stored in there. So that is what's in the third drawer and now for the last drawer. So in the last drawer there is mainly just toys. So we have a crinkled tunnel which I had to take the metal things out of the end because they started to poke through and it wasn't very safe for the hamsters. So we have some large play veg which Cookie really loved these. Um, I'll just have another one there. Some more spare ribbon, uh, a Savix Sputnik, a homemade hanging chew, some, um, what are these called? Play and climb kits I think they're called. So they're just pieces of wood that all slot together. We have lots of spare hammocks for the hamsters, a treat ball, 
Coco's Spare Shredder Log Tunnel. We have some of this, and I can't remember what it's called, but it used to be in a ball shape, but the hamsters kind of destroyed it, so I've just wrapped it up like that and made it into like a little chew. Lufa chew, Nobbly Noras, Cookie Monsters, Old Lizard chew, and Elmo's Old Ladybug chew. Um, another piece of the Play and Climb kit. We have even more wood chews. Um, I have an obsession with wood chews and treats. We have mineral stones just back there. Then we have like little plastic containers which the dwarfs really like using them as beds so I sometimes give them one of them. Um, we have little cat treat balls, they're whiskers ones and they make really lousy toys for our cats but the hamsters go crazy for these because I put really smelly treats in here and it's just so funny watching them um, trying to get the treats out. So I have a couple of them and I think that's pretty much everything in there. So I have some stuff stored over the other side of my bedroom which I shall go and show you. So over on the other side of my room we have a large bag of fitch for the hamsters. We have some hay which the hamsters like to nibble on from time to time and we have a large box here. So in here it's mainly filled up with spare things from the cages. So at the moment we have the bars for Ziggy's Duna Fun in here and we have the shelf for his cage and a spare shelf for the hamster heaven back there. So this is just a tub which I use for playtime so I mainly put sand in there. Um, but we have loads and loads of tubes in here. Um, you can probably see all the connectors just there. Um, suction cups. The little connector pieces which hold the bars in place for Ziggy's Duna Fun. We've got some spare wheels in here. The Savic Hamster Potty. There is just loads of stuff in there and I really need to go through it all and possibly sell some of it because it just doesn't get used and there are a lot of tubes in there so yeah and then last of all all the way up there on the top of my wardrobe we have the Mickey Max hamster cage so it's just got some spare wheels and the hamster carrier in there so yeah that is just a real quick video on the hamster storage if you have any questions please feel free to comment and I'll try to answer them um, as always, if you have any video requests, please let me know and I'll do the videos for you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.